Namaste friends, you are watching Music Diaries Nepal. In this video, I'll illustrate two different ways to notate or transcribe mnemonic drumming syllables. We all know that in most parts of South Asia, musical instruments are taught orally. The use of drumming syllables in oral music tradition helps young learners to understand and memorize their repertoire. Early exposure to musical traditions creates a bond among community members of the same or different age groups. And moreover, in Nepal, people of various ethnic groups define their identity through their music. In contemporary Nepal, many young men are forced to leave their country in search of work and a better future for their family. In many villages in rural Nepal, there are only children, women and people above 60. Men who earlier contributed to local and cultural activities now work overseas. Many die there because of abysmal working and living conditions. So, it's our responsibility to keep these musical traditions alive as best as we can. Now, let us begin. First method, the box system. The system of notating orally transmitted drumming traditions is a box system because the drumming syllables are notated or written in boxes. The system was first proposed by an Indian scholar, author and legendary tabla player Pandit Nikhil Ghosh in 1982. It was further improvised according to needs and applied in other South Asian drumming tradition by his student, Professor Dr. Gert Mathis Wagner. Before we start transcribing drums, we need to understand a few basic things. And if you are, familiar with Western staff notation, then it's going to be easier. If not, I'll brief it up for you. So, as a percussionist, we all are familiar with the metronome. The application in your mobile might look like this. It has many features in it. For example, the tempo or beats per minute, often known as BPM. Tap tempo, speed trainer, and beats per bar. When you give it the value 0, then it will only produce the sound talk endlessly. But as soon as you give it a value, for example 2, then it will start the cycle of 2 beats per bar and we will hear tick on 1 and talk on 2. These individual beats are known as quarter notes in western music. And in the box system, quarter notes are represented in a square box which is known as matras in Hindustani classical music. Now, if we need to write 8 notes which have 2 strokes in a beat or matra, then we will simply divide the square box in half and write first half in the upper and second half in the lower box. 16th notes which have 4 strokes per metronome click are written in this manner. Triplets are written in this manner. Since we are equipped with basic music theory, now we can start transcribing mnemonic drumming syllables. First music example, conical drumming syllables. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ke, 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 ta, Second music example, Tukda in Tin Tal. One, two, three, four. Ta, di, ke, ta, dum. 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 Third music example, Gu, Nya, and Sile Ke Kudyalagu, compositions on traditional theme drum of Bhaktapun Yavars. Symbol B in the transcription represents a pair of Pusha symbols visible in the top left corner in the video which are played on the first beat of the first bar and first and third beat in the second bar. Symbol S represents a pair of Sisha symbols 
which are played on the first, third and fourth matra visible in the top right corner in the video. The expression ad lib, shortcut of Latin ad libitum, leaves it to the player how many times he wishes to repeat. The arrow leading the section with symbol F is not completely repeated. The bold letter F connects different compositions after the desired number of repetitions. As you can see, a wave-like sign within the brackets above the Sirekeku dialago indicating infinite repetitions with acceleration speed. That is, each time it has to be played faster and faster until the player reaches his limit. You can imagine a free bouncing ball while you express this sign on your instrument. This Ku composition is an interesting one because the drumming syllables in this and a few other compositions have specific meaning. Wagner translates this from the original Newari. Not one, but two plates of rice eats he. Not only the rice, but the plate eats he. Not from a glass drinks he, but from a bowl, the spirits. These short and lively compositions are easily remembered and fun to play during festivals to tease players of other groups. Similar to repetition and sign F, you can assign various other signs in this notation system. As you can see in this Tintal Theka, glissando is indicated by a curved arrow, high pressure on ninth matra and finger to play Te syllable. Second method, Bhatkhande Notation System. This notation system was developed by Pandit Vishnu Narayan Bhatkhande. He was a scholar, musicologist, author, and musician himself. Although this notation system can notate melodies equally well, but in this video, I'll only illustrate rhythmic aspects to notate mnemonic drumming syllables. Similar to the box system, a single syllable represents quarter note but without a box. If there is a curved vertical underline below two syllables, then they are identified as eight notes. For triplets, three syllables, 16 notes, four syllables are underlined with a curved vertical line. Later S or simply dash indicates rest. Now let's examine all notation system in our previous demonstration, second music example. I personally prefer the box system to notate mnemonic drumming syllables because it allows us to transcribe each and every drumming detail which makes it more precise in comparison with other notation systems. Since these oral drumming traditions are based on syllables or poetry that you can recite, Western notation system gives an abstract picture of the anatomy of the music. In the case of North Indian tabla drums, it is too difficult to notate all the syllables in Western staff notation. There are so many percussionists from this region teaching different drums on their YouTube channel. They are good at playing the instrument but don't have a proper notation system. I hope now you all can transcribe oral drumming repertoire from YouTube or from your own community or neighborhood. Always remember that by preserving these intangible local musical traditions, you are contributing something valuable to your country. I hope you found this video helpful. Do like and share this video and subscribe for future updates. Thank you.